Mother Nature's big surprise for the East Coast. Look at that, that 4.8 earthquake and the aftershocks overnight. I texted you both when I felt it on my yep. couch. <laughs> the U.S. Geological Survey said over 42 million people might have felt Friday's earthquake. Daily routines were interrupted by a serious case of the shakes. ABC's Morgan Norwood joins us live from Lebanon, New Jersey, which is where that epicenter is. Good morning, Morgan. Hey, good morning to you, Janae. As you mentioned, this is Lebanon, New Jersey, the epicenter of that quake. This is where folks likely felt the strongest of the shakes. Now, looking around, no signs of damage here. But as you also pointed out, there have been close to a dozen aftershocks. And this morning, experts warn those could continue for days. This morning, the Northeast dodging major damage after this 4.8 magnitude earthquake rattled tens of millions of people across the region. The initial quake's epicenter was here in White House Station, New Jersey, and could be felt all the way from Washington, D.C. to Maine. Security cameras around the region capturing the moment the quake struck. The tremors sending patrons scrambling out of this New Jersey cafe. The violent shakes interrupting a customer getting a haircut. The quake even briefly disrupting a United Nations Security Council meeting in New York City. Yeah. And atop the Statue of Liberty, the earth cam rattled by the shake. Inside homes, cameras capturing pets confused and startled by the earthquake. The quake began at 1023 Friday morning and lasted for more than 30 seconds. The ceiling started like rumbling and it was really scary because the whole room felt like shaking. And while the damage was limited throughout the region, these homes in Newark, New Jersey had to be evacuated. And in New York City, officials using drones to check for damage to the city's historic bridges. Thankfully, the Big Apple spared from any major damage due to the low magnitude. You know, if it had been located under Manhattan, you probably would have had damage from this earthquake. The tremors briefly grounding planes at New York's JFK Airport, Baltimore and Newark airports. All right, Southern Solar Aircraft uh, awaiting departure. It seems like the, the uh, tower is going to be evacuated. With the region still on alert for aftershocks, New York Governor Kathy Hochul warning New Yorkers to take caution. Inspect your home for damage. Check walls, floors, doors, windows, staircases. And uh, if you see any damage at all, you may need to relocate. So significant earthquakes along the East Coast are extremely rare. In fact, this is the strongest earthquake to hit this region with in nearly 140 years. Whit. All right, Morgan, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.